Welcome to Prayer and Coffee. In Luke 21, Jesus said, Be always on the watch and pray that you may be able to escape all that is about to happen and that you may be able to stand before the Son of Man. It's true for individual Christians and it's true for churches. No prayer, no power. And we are in desperate need of spiritual power. In Luke 9.29, Jesus said, This kind cannot be driven out by anything but prayer. His, his disciples had asked, Why could not we cast it out? And Jesus' answer, Insufficient prayer. The disciples had prayed for a boy needing help in Mark 9 with demon possession, and, but they had not lived in prayer. They did not have a full house of prayer in their spirit. The disciples had pr prayed, but they couldn't see any result. In Mark 9, 25, when Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, Deaf and dumb spirit, I command you, come out of him and enter him no more. Jesus had prayed. Prayer was his life. He prayed early in the morning and sometimes all night, and he was ready. In Mark 14, Jesus said, Watch and pray that you may enter into may not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Our defense and our offense as a child of God and as a church is an active, persistent, earnest, believing prayer force. In Ephesians six eighteen, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. So let's pray. Father, you are holy, and I honor you as I come before you today. Forgive us for our lack of prayer. Forgive us for thinking somehow we can make it on our own without your help, your grace, your wisdom, your strength, your foreknowledge. Father, we are seeing a rise of Antichrist spirit. There is a present darkness in this generation creating chaos and confusion and violence and blatant immorality. Many have turned away from following and loving you with all their heart, mind, soul, and strength. Father, we need your power in our lives and in our churches. We are fighting for our families, our cities, our nation. We need your power. Draw the body of Christ to the place of prayer. Show us our need to pray individually and together. Draw your ecclesia to prayer, Father. Let your church be a house of prayer as we pray in the name of the one who gave himself to prayer, Jesus Christ. Amen.